Hello YouTube, we're going to do a barbecue repair. See where all that's rusted? What's happening is it's getting too much air in there. It's burning too hot. We've got our grate off and our charcoal thing out. My subscribers know what this thing looks like. I, I will take pictures once it's back together. But uh, I bought this back in 2014. So this be the eighth year I've used it. I remember people complained about this gasket when they tried to smoke. It never sealed very good, but it hasn't burned up. This thing got overheated one time, and it started burning that coating off. that's like a factory finish. And it flaked off, and I had a heck of a mess because I didn't want that in any food. But uh, It has got left out in the rain. I put a bag over it, like a garbage bag, and you know what that's like. Usually it's underneath the tarp. In the wintertime, it's covered up really good or inside. We're going to try to get it off its legs. I made those legs, so we'll show you that when we get it upside down. Okay, here's the bottom pan. So I'm assuming the gasket's up there on the other part. This slides up over like a wire thing. You'll see it and I'll show you. And it's broke loose. It's got latches on it. I'd like to repaint this thing. It was a prettier color than this years ago. It's pretty icky looking. We'll take you over and show you. Well, we'll wait till you get upside down. We're, in, we're over here near the door in case we can use the wire welder on any of these repairs. Okay, next we're going to unbolt the lid. We're going to try to take the whole mechanism off here so we can turn this thing upside down on our table. We used our homemade nut dryer when you put the ratchet on it. Man, does that work slick. You just turn it like a crank out there. Or you can use the screwdriver handle. Those are 11 millimeter head. I'm sure I'm right. Well, there's your problem. And that's even broke. That's, that's where I said that round piece of thing. It slides up over here and hooks in there. I don't know if this gasket's folded under here. Do I got enough metal in here to rivet? Let me go find something to poke with. We may be able to rivet a piece of tin or something in here. Okay, let's do the old poke test. Like in a car body. That's how you do it. Hang it through there. It's pretty tough, huh? We may be able to save this. And here's a circle. We're going to measure across what the circle used to be. So let's do some brushing and get some of the junk out of the way. We are going to try to take the legs off. It's just a little bit of screws. Okay, it came out of there, but it probably been easier just to do this. But I want to see it come out of here. And I had tape on it when I put this together. See that? That ain't going back on there. It's like, oh, you could have just took it off of here. Oh, well. At least we know it comes apart. In case you wanted to move and put it in the trunk of your car. Okay, here's how the gasket comes off. This is at the back. See this part? Here's back where the hinges were. See the little holes? This only had like a 7 inch hole in there. Yeah, look at that. I can reuse this. Ain't that cool? I just got this curved part underneath there, like up against here. And popped them up. I use this for all kinds of stuff. Okay, let's see if we can find some tin for this. Okay, the wire brush and the drill and some scraping and thin insulation. Outside, inside. This is the competitor to the one that's ceramic. So that has insulation. In it. I'm just poking that junk back in there. Maybe it'll stay in there. Okay, this is all we could find. An old piece of stovepipe. Should be 24 gauge. We're going to make it just short of the holes. Those holes are like 10 and a quarter. We're going to make it 10 inches, so the tin will be like right there on the side of the hole, so I still save my holes. Then we'll make our center hole. I think you know what I mean? It'd be better what it was. Center hole is only like 7 inches. 
it's actually smaller than this one. See this hole? That piece was always smaller than that. Here we go. Okay, we got a piece cut out, hammered out, marked. This is clamped down because we're going to use our grinder and cutter just to cut it out. We don't want it to turn into a flying saucer. So we're going to cut out the center. The outside will just cut off with the tin snips. Here we go. Wish me luck. Cut about halfway through in a circle and did my pie cut. Worked pretty good. A lot of smoke. Okay, we're done with our repair. Here's the piece of tin we put on us right here. Is this one. And that's about what it was, the seven inch hole. It's not fair how to fix this. We'll flip it over and show you what it looks like. Okay, there's our repair. That's where our gasket clips in. So we had to be inside of that. And I don't think this thickness is going to hurt it. Because that gasket's collapsed and it's got play in it. So, like I said, where's that right? Yeah, we got to figure out how to do something. I should just take it out. That's where that has to go up over there and slide on it. It just makes it hard to put the bottom on. It's just so it don't fall when you're putting the buckles on. I, I think it's going to be gone. I really do. It's just been a pain, something that I don't really need to put the bottom on. You're always fidgeting with it. I mean, it's a little jagged. Doesn't matter. I'm going to spray some paint on her. I should have painted this first. Because I don't know how hot it'll get, but I'm at least going to paint the bottom on here. Because it doesn't get a whole lot of heat down here. That's where the air comes in the barbecue. So stay tuned. we got a little more work yet to do to get back together. Okay, we just got rid of the other piece. We're going to leave that in there just because it's there. Okay, this job is done. See the old rusty metal or what was left? And here's the new ring. I already showed it in the clip, but I've had so many clips I forget what I'm doing. We're going to flip it over and pull the bottom off. We got rid of that thing, that wire with this slid up over. I can put the bottom on without it. Let me flip it over and we'll take the bottom off and show you what it looks like. Okay, here's how this clip's on. It's got these clips right here. I can do it without that helper part. There's your air intake. And there we go. It's all painted. That clip back on. I got rivets in here that are in between these holes. Like where it clipped, I went in between the holes of the clip of the gasket and put a rivet. About 12, 13 rivets. So there you go. We're getting out of focus. There. Well, thanks for watching and look at all the pictures or show stuff that I did of how I drawed out the circle and everything like that. So. Thanks again for watching if you watched the whole video.